by defeating Ares, Kratos, the once mortal warrior, became the new god of war. However, Kratos soon found himself alone on Olympus, shunned by his fellow gods. But Kratos had no need for the love of petty gods. He had found a new family in the warriors of Sparta, gaining solace from his past and calling to battle. My lord, Kratos! Another city is ready to fall! Soon all shall know the glory of Sparta! Enough, Kratos! With every city you destroy, the wrath of Olympus grows. Soon I will no longer be able to protect you. I need no protection. Do not forget that it was I who made you a god, Ghost of Sparta. Do not turn your back on me. I owe you nothing. Then you leave me no choice. Kratos had turned the pain of his memories into hatred. Hatred for the gods who had refused to free him from the nightmares of his past deeds. And so he went to Rhodes to deliver the final blow to the besieged city.
Watch your flank! Show no mercy! with honor! can take down this beast. I offer you more than help, Kratos. I offer you power. I offer you the Blade of Olympus. It was this blade that ended the Great War and defeated the Titans. Drain your godly powers into the sword, Kratos. Only then will you reach your full potential. Why do you aid me now? What I do now, I do for the good of all Olympus.
Godly power drained into the blade, it will have the strength to destroy all who defy the gods.
Do you see, gods of Olympus? Do you need more proof than this? Placing all of his godly power into the weapon had rendered Kratos mortal, vulnerable to the arms of death. Bloodied and beaten, he knew that to have any hope of survival, he must retrieve the blade of Olympus. Humiliated before his Spartan army, Kratos dragged himself up from the dirt. to attend to this matter myself. Athena refused to undo her mistake. Imagine caring for a creature such as yourself. Why? Why would you betray me? It is you who would betray me. Am I to stand idly by while Olympus is threatened? Your hands are already stained by the blood of a god. I will not let Ares' fate be my own. The gods are petty and pathetic, and your rule is weak. I grow tired of this insolence. I am the king of Olympus. And it is my way that is the way of the gods. You must vow to forever serve me. I serve no one. Then you'll leave me no choice. Kratos has fallen! <laughs> Submit! I would rather die! It did not have to be this way, my son. This path is of your choosing. A choice from the gods is as useless as the gods themselves. Even now, as you draw your last breath, you continue to defy me? Everything you have ever known, Kratos, will now suffer because of your sacrilege. You will never be the ruler of Olympus. The cycle ends here. As the life drained out of Kratos, the arms of Hades reached out to claim their prize. But there was more resting on Kratos' shoulders than he could know. Kratos was destined to bring about change so severe that it would shake the very pillars of Mount Olympus. His death was something that I could not allow. Ares! Destroy my 
enemies, and my life is yours! This is not the end. Who are you? I am the Titan Gaia, ever-present mother of Earth. I have watched you become a powerful warrior, and I have been with you through all the events of your life. But I can no longer simply watch. We will help you defeat Zeus. Death is an escape, Kratos. You are a warrior of Sparta, not a coward. Only a coward accepts death. I am no coward. Then you must fight. I will show you the way to the Sisters of Fate. Only with their power will you defeat Zeus.